Consider the relationship 3r plus 2t equals 18. Write the relationship as a function r equals f of t. Now, when you see this notation here, r is equal to f of t, we can restate this in a few ways. Right? This is basically saying that we want r as a function of t. Okay, So interpreting that even a little further, I have two main ways, if you look under the memorize this section, I have two main ways in which I wrote that down for you. So when you see r is equal to ft, you can think about this in two ways. All right, um, Both will get you to the same answer, but I think one is a little more mathematically oriented, statement number one, and number two is a little more to the point. So how to reinterpret r equals f of t, it's to basically say solve for r in terms of t. Okay, that also means, simplifying that even further, it means just get r by itself on one side of the equation, everything else onto the other. All right, that's the way I like to look at it. So for letter a here, um, let's rewrite the original equation, 3r plus 2t equals 18. What they're asking us is solve this baby for r, get everything, everything on over to the right hand side. All right, so the first thing is to solve this for r, I gotta subtract the 2t on over to the right hand side, right? So this would then be 3r is equal to now 18 minus 2t. Okay, and then get r by itself, I can just divide out the three, right? So we have r is equal to now 18 minus 2t all over three. This is a valid answer, you can leave it at that. If you wanted, you could also factor out a two you know, between the two terms in the numerator. So I'll just write that answer out as well. It would it would be the same thing as writing two times then nine, nine minus t all over three. Either answer is acceptable, okay? They're both pretty well simplified. This might be even, this is really a little more simplified, but so that's all, right? So this, this is the mathematical relationship, okay? This would be solving r uh, in terms of t. So that should take care of letter A. All right, let's take a look at now letter B. So letter B says to evaluate f of negative 3. Now in terms of our equation, I'm going to use this one just because, I don't know, I'm just going to use that one. Um, so this is r is equal to 18 minus 2t all over 3. Now you might say, evaluate f of negative 3. So I've seen this before, and basically what I do is I look for f of t, you know, because this, that's, there's no x in the problem, it's just t this time. And I'm gonna look for my f of t and I'm gonna plug it in, right? But we don't have f of t in here, all right? We just have t, but no big deal, right? Remember, they told, you know that f, so in other words, f of t will equal in this problem f of negative three, right? What is consistent amongst the left and the right hand sides of this equation? Well, I noticed that whatever t was here is t also on the right hand side. Well, if that's the case, then I know that t is really going to be negative three in this problem for letter B. So that being the case, anywhere I see t in this equation, I can simply just plug in negative three for it. And then we can solve, all right? That's all that it's asking. I know it's a little confusing, there's not a lot of words, but that's where the practice comes in. All right, the practice is in seeing problems done, how to reinterpret them, and just, just doing a whole bunch of practice. There's no magic to it. All right, 18, now this is plus six all over three. All right, simplifying this on out in the numerator is 24 over three, and that works out to be eight. All right, so R is equal to eight for the letter B. Finishing this problem on out, letter C, it says solve now F of T equals two. Okay, so in other words, how to interpret this now is we know what the function's value is. We know that this is going to be equal to two, okay? So this whole entire function of t, which is this whole thing, is going to now be equal to two, okay? So what that means is this whole function here will be equal to two. So instead, so here I'm going to write r is equal to 18, I'm gonna rewrite it again, minus 2t all over three, okay? So now I can rewrite this again, I can rewrite this, instead of writing r, I mean I could write this as f of t is equal to 18 minus 2t all over three. That might make it make a little more sense. 
These two are equivalent because r is a function of t. So that being the case, all right, meaning that, uh, what does that mean? That means that the r value is dependent on what t is. That's what it means to be a function of t. All right, so r is a function of t because r's value here is dependent on the value of t. Whatever t is, that will determine what r is. All right, that means, that's what it means to be a function. So now, again, if we notice, you know, if you look at it in this context, which I'm actually going to take this and write it below here, this problem is approached very similarly now. So now we know two, uh, excuse me, f of t is equal to two, and therefore here's f of t, so I can plug in two there, right? And what's left now is going to be my t variable. So my job is to solve for t now, all right? Put this over one and you can do a cross multiplication. So it's two times three, which would be six, equals one times this whole thing, which is going to be itself, so 18 minus two t. Solve this for t by bringing the 2t on over to the uh, left-hand side. Let me give myself a little more space. Subtract out the 6 from the left-hand side on over to the right. And we, lo and behold, we get 2t is now equal to 12. So divide out the 2 and t is equal to 6. All right, so there you go. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please help us out. Hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends. Hit the like button. And... Uh, Look forward to helping you out with the next question. Take care.